is the early edge powered by Sportsline. Now, if it looks a little bit different, that's because it is. We're taking our show on the road, taping a little early today because I got to get set for the first round of the Waste Management Phoenix Open on PGA Tour Live. Now, I know we came off a little bit of a rough night last night. We've won eight of ten nights, though, and this is a perfect time to tell you, if you're a Sportsline member, go to the app, go to the site. We've got so many picks there. The Maestro last night, yes, a little rough night here on the show, but he was 4-0 in college basketball. So don't go nuts on social media. Just become a Sportsline member. Let's bring in our cappers right now. And they're always good for a bounce back. First, right below me, M Squared, Mike McClure. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Coach. Uh, definitely looking for a bounce back day. Looking forward to watching you on PGA Tour Live as well today. Thank you very much. The man right next to me, he takes this as personal as anybody. But I got your back all the time. The maestro, Larry Harstein. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, Coach. I could take it, you, you know, but I do appreciate the support. And, and yes, I take it more personally than anyone. I put more pressure on myself to work harder. So let's do it. And let's do it. All right, it's time for the storylines that could affect your betting lines. M Squared, you're up first. So it's a short slate tonight in the NBA, but it is not short on key injury news. Uh, Chris Stapps Porzingis is doubtful to play on a back-to-back for the Dallas Mavericks. For the Golden State Warriors, James Wiseman and Kevon Looney are both out. That is going to make that rotation awfully thin. That means Curry is going to have to score a lot more. Then for Houston, Victor Oladipo is going to rest on the second night of a back-to-back. And perhaps the biggest piece of news tonight, Damian Lillard is questionable to play. There is no line posted on this game yet, so that's something to keep in mind. And then for the Denver Nuggets, they're going to be without Gary Harris and P.J. Dozier, meaning they're going to be very thin in the backcourt tonight against the Los Angeles Lakers. All right, it's great to see Chief this morning. All right, my storyline say more of kind of a tease as we are four days away from the Super Bowl. We've got tons of extra content that's going to be sliding into your feed. Right now we have an interview we did earlier this week with Cousin Sal. Our man, the maestro, sat down with William Hill, director of trading Nick Bognatovich. Also, a prop special coming out on Friday afternoon. And how about this? A watch-along special feed with the Pick 6 crew and the Early Edge crew during the Super Bowl, talking all things betting. You can't get better than that. All right, Maestro, what do you have? Well, the biggest matchup tonight in college hoops, Ohio State visiting Iowa. And, you know, the early look in this game has to be towards Ohio State getting five and a half points. They're in much better current form. This is an Iowa team that has failed to cover the last three, did not get it done against Michigan State. But if you look inside that box score, they missed 12 free throws which was kind of uncharacteristic. So I'm going to dig into this one deeper. I may just sit back and enjoy it. But Ohio State, last three road games, won at Rutgers, at Illinois, at Wisconsin, and now getting five and a half points on first glance. That looks tempting. Uh, It sure does. They they played really well a couple of nights ago uh, as well. All right, let's go to the board. It's time first. Excuse me. My goodness. It's time for our sports line play of the day. We're going to go to the NHL. And before your eyes pop out of your head, let me tell you this. Matt Severance, 22-3 and three in his last 25 NHL picks. And we're going to give out today Montreal minus 320 over Ottawa. Now, that's huge juice. We know that. But Ottawa simply cannot win. They can't beat Montreal. But if this is too much juice for you, then throw it into a parlay. It's fine, and that will bring it down just a little bit, and you won't have to worry about losing 320 if you're $100 uh, better. So it's a graded A play on Sportsline. It has the Habs winning 81% of our simulations. That's a play that we have to make. All right, M Squirt, what do you got? Headed to the NBA, I mentioned some of the issues for the Denver Nuggets. They aren't actually issues in my opinion here, so I'm taking the Denver Nuggets plus five against the Lakers tonight on TNT. I make the Lakers only minus 2.2 points in my simulation. So I like the fact that Gary Harris isn't available to play in this game for the Nuggets. I think it allows some of their talent to be play within themselves a little more than they are when Harris is on the floor with them. So that's going to be a boost to Jamal Murray. It's going to be a boost to Will Barton. It's going to be a boost to Michael Porter Jr. off the bench. I like the fact that this Nuggets team This is the first game they've played this week. They had the postponement against the Detroit Pistons. They haven't played since Sunday. They are well-rested, ready to go in this spot, which is also why I'm going to be taking Jamal Murray over 26.5 points, rebounds, and assists. If you know anything about Jamal Murray, you know he can get to this number on points alone. But when we run the numbers and we take Gary Harris out of the lineup, 
Jamal Murray has a nice boost in terms of rebounding rates and assist rates, which are going to help him get to that number at 26 and a half. And then I'm also looking at Steph Curry over 28 and a half total points. I like him and I like the Warriors in the spot against the Dallas Mavericks on the second night of a back to back. If we know anything about Steph Curry, especially when the team is not winning a ton of games and contending for championships. He wants to go out there and score, and he has certain games on the calendar circled. One against Luka Doncic is one that he certainly has circled. Look for Curry to put up at least 32 points, as that's my median number in this game. Take over 28 and a half. I think he's been very, very aggressive this year, too. Certainly he did a couple of nights ago. Let me just say this real quick, because it happened last night. You just gave out two prop bets. Last night, social media going crazy. Oh, your prop bets were horrible. Listen, when a prop bet fouls three times in the first half and then it's a blowout in the second half, those are variables that nobody can predict. Adjust your unit size because it's a prop bet and stop going bananas when they don't play in the second half. All right, Maestro, what do you got? Uh, well, Coach, and I will just add one more thing is that the prop bets will soon, hopefully this summer, be on the app in the pick feed along with the rest of the game picks. But I'm sorry, on to my best bets for today. This is an early one. SIU Edwardsville again. We won with them about a week ago. We lost with them earlier this week. Going back to the well, they're playing Tennessee State. They beat Tennessee State by two at Tennessee State, and they shot 11 of 23 from the foul line in that game and still won by two character uncharacteristic because they do shoot almost 70% from the foul line. They did play twice this week already, but they had the day off to rest. And Tennessee state has not won a road game all season. So that's the first play laying one point. And then again, another team that struggles on the road is Minnesota. They're going to Rutgers. Rutgers has turned it around one, three straight. Minnesota has lost its five road games by an average of nearly 19 points. And Marcus Carr in those games, shooting 24% and averaging only 12 points. At home, 23 points, 48% shooting. They're just a different team on the road. Rutgers, I think, defensively is playing amazing. Look what they did at Michigan State. They also shut down Northwestern. So I see them covering. And then going to the NBA, Donovan Mitchell coming to Atlanta. His total points, 23 and a half. He had 26 points in 29 minutes the last time he faced the Hawks, 10 out of 20. The Hawks are on a back-to-back. They don't have DeAndre Hunter, so I'm not sure who's going to be able to slow down Donovan Mitchell. And it probably doesn't hurt that he's in Atlanta, very close to the uh, TNT set where and Shaq, who probably be yep. out tonight. And we know what Shaq said a couple weeks ago about Donovan Mitchell. So uh, I like him to get at least 24 tonight. Yeah, there's a big old chip on Donovan Mitchell's shoulder. And also, I watched the Hawks play the Mavericks last night. They can't stop anybody. They couldn't stop me and you, Maestro. Are you kidding me? All right, here we go. It is that time. Grab your paper. Grab your pencils. Time for our recap. Jeweler, put it up there. Let's start with M-Square. He likes the Nuggets plus the five tonight. In that same game, Jamal Murray over 26 and a half points combined with rebounds and assists. And then Stephen Curry. He's been very, very aggressive. Over 28 and a half points for the Golden State Warriors. The Maestro. He likes SIU Edwardsville. Remember, this is a two Eastern tip. Get your bet in now. Don't get shut out. Then Rutgers, they've been a pleasant surprise this year in the Big Ten. Minus five and a half. And then Donovan Mitchell, remember that chip. Over 23 and a half points. You're laying minus 125. And then our sports line app, play of the day, the Canadians over Ottawa, minus 320. Remember, throw it in a parlay, or if you don't mind laying that much juice, this is a graded A play. But remember, It's minus 320. And by the way, you can still get your golf bets in that we put out on Wednesday here on the Early Edge. And I'm in the studio right now with PGA Tour winner John Rollins. I showed him our picks. He said, I love every single one. That's all I need to know. You've got your marching orders. Let's take every single ticket straight to the pay window. For M Squared, for the Maestro, for Chief, for the Jeweler, I am the coach. We'll see you on PGA Tour Live. And remember, this is the only place for your daily Early edge. Good luck.